Hi everyone, it's lunchtime again and today I'm having a very, very warm and cozy meal. I'm having spaghetti on toast. It looks like a lot on this plate and that's because it is a lot on this plate. I'm very hungry and I accidentally heated up the whole can of spaghetti. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it and I'll stop when I'm full. <laughs> Alright, so let's dig in. Mmm, yum. I'm just going straight for spaghetti first. It's still really hot. I can see the steam off it. Mmm. I like to let it sit on my toast for a while so that it kind of makes the bread go soggy. But it's really important that I put this on toast and not bread because if I put it on bread, then it would be so soggy it would completely fall apart before I even had a chance to eat it. Spaghetti on toast always reminds me of my childhood. I don't think I ate that much spaghetti on toast in my childhood. I just have a vivid memory of enjoying it. That said, now that I'm an adult, I often forget that this even exists. And I was just in Aldi the other day and I walked right past it and saw the cans and thought, you know what, this would be a lovely, easy lunch to have this week. Although, a bit messier than I thought it would be. <laughs> mm. I want to tell you about a new project that I'm going to do on my other YouTube channel. So I'm going to go and get the prop that I need to show you what I'm doing. Anyway, I'll be right back. Wait there. I'm back. Okay, so if you are Australian, you might recognise this book. It's the Australian Women's Weekly, Women's Weekly? The Australian Women's Weekly Children's Birthday Cake Book. And it was first published back in, I think, 1980. Hang on, I need to go higher. Better. Yeah, so it was first published, I think, in 1980. I don't know which version this one is. Um, what does it say in here? It doesn't actually say the publishing date, but anyway, it's full of kids' birthday cake ideas. And it's kind of like a like a really famous birthday cake book here in Australia for making cakes for your kids. There are cakes in this. Sorry. There are cakes in this that most of us Australian children will remember seeing in our childhood. I'll show you a couple. Tell me if you recognise any of these. I've got a super old version of this book, so it includes... Um, some that you won't see in the newer versions. Okay, where is it? Where is it? There's tons in here. There's like a hundred cake recipes. Okay, so number shapes, for example. As kids, lots of us were given cakes for our birthdays in the shape of numbers. But the one that I remember most vividly is... Oh, look how cute this is for Halloween, by the way. Oh, look at that witch. So cute. Okay, what do I remember? Where is the pool? Oh, okay, so here is the Dolly Vibin cake. It had, the cake is the skirt, and it has marshmallows all over it. There's a, oh, the piano cake. But there's a swimming pool cake in here that looks very cool. I'm just going to see if I can find that for you. Here we go. Swimming pool. Anyway, long story short, this, this book has um, been around forever. And most of us who grew up in Australia would have, been, would have had one of these cakes at some point. Or our parents would have attempted to give us some of these cakes at some point. And I love baking. I bake a lot over on my other YouTube channel. It's beautifully organized. And I love to bake. And I like to bake cakes that are simple or foods that are simple. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun if I made this a bit of a project and tried to make the cakes out of this book? Mm. 
So what do you think? Do you think that would be a good idea? Um, I could film me trying to make them so you can see it. And then I thought, you know what? It's either going to be really, really handy because I'll learn how to make them and people can watch the video and learn how to make them too. Or it'll be a massive fail, but it'll still be entertaining to see what my cakes turn out like. Mm. There's a cake in there that's a duck shape that you look at and think there's no way I could make that. I'll show you. I've got spaghetti sauce on me, sorry. I'll show you. Duck cake, duck cake. Ducky? Yeah. 38. Yeah, so I just thought, how fun would that be? Look at this. Come on, is that not adorable? It has chips for his beak. Mm hmm And popcorn. Crazy. And there's a train on the front. This one. Now, my daughter is obsessed with this book. She's seven. She loves to bake as well. She reads this book as if it's a bedtime storybook. She's adorable. And her favourite <clears throat> is apparently the most difficult one in, out of the whole book. It is, where is it, where is it? It's this one, the tip truck. So she's very excited with the idea of this project. Now, unfortunately, though, I just watched a video where so Pamela, the editor of this book from Women's Weekly, talked about how much she hated making this cake and that it was the hardest cake in the book. So part of me is like, no, why? Why does this have to be George's favourite? I think it's because it's got lollies in it. Anyway, long story short, I think what I'm going to do is make this a new project over on my other channel, make one cake a month, it's not going to be someone's birthday every month, but I'm pretty sure my family will be able to handle eating a birthday cake for no reason. Or if it's someone's birthday coming up, I'll give it to them for their birthday. Oh. I thought what I would do is start with a relatively easy one for September. So I'm thinking about doing the very first cake in the book, which is Hickory Dickory Watch. So yeah, it's a round cake, it's got licorice, it's got lollies, it's got hundreds and thousands. It has a prune for the mouse, but it looks doable. So I thought I could make a version of this. It may not be the exact same colours because I still want to make it appealing so that my family will want to eat it. <laughs> and my favourite colour is yellow, but even for me, this is too much yellow. So I'm going to make it. I'll do that one first. Oh, and then for Halloween, for October, I'll do that cute little witch. Because these don't seem too hard. The witch is basically made off a rectangular shape. Right? And then all you really need is like, uh, and it's boxed cake mixes in here too. I might make the cake from scratch, but I might just cheat and get the cake mixes as well. So it's just cake, icing, food colouring, licorice. Why did we eat so much licorice in the 80s? Potato straws. Oh, they must be French fried chips. Okay. And smarties for the eyes. Anybody can make that. I'm sure. I'm sure I could do that. So let me know what you think. Do you, would you like to come along on this baking journey with me? Would you like to check it out? Um, maybe we maybe we could even do birthday cake muffins. I just really really love to bake and I'm always looking for new ideas to try and I think I would really get a kick out of doing this so yeah hmm worth a shot right hmm this is so good all right so this piece of bread now has gotten really really soft because it's been under the spaghetti the whole time But this bit is still crunchy. Well, still firm. Hmm. 
All right, so yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I really don't know how well they'll turn out, but I'm very, very excited to try. Hmm. What else is cute in here? Some of them are super easy. Look at this Miss Muffet one. See? Just a spider web on a cake. They have this thing in here called Vienna cream, which freaks me out because I don't love cream. But I looked closely at the recipe and it looks like they're just making buttercream icing. Um, but it was called Vienna cream when they made the book, so it doesn't look too scary. There's a Humpty Dumpty. Ooh! There's a gingerbread house in here. I can do that for Christmas time. Where I'm going to find gingerbread cake mix, though, I do not know. I might have to Google a homemade gingerbread flavoured cake recipe. Mm. Actually, Laura Vitali from Laura in the Kitchen, I think, has a really good gingerbread cupcake recipe. So I could use that. But put it in a big cake. If you haven't seen Laura's channel... Let me know and I'll leave you a link to check it out. Her cooking is amazing. It's one of the channels that I recommend in my simple meal planning program over at Beautifully Organized. We have this meal planning video course and I basically just run you through the hacks that I use to keep on top of my cooking and my meals and my budget and stuff like that. And in the course I recommend some resources that you can use for free and YouTube is one of those. And she's one of my favourite YouTube cooking channels. Hmm. There's a tennis racket. Hmm. <clears throat> it's my husband's birthday soon. And he played tennis for years. Maybe I could make him that. There's cats, lions, giraffes, tigers, elephants, bunnies. These are adorable. Oh, there's a creepy clown. I may not make this one. <laughs> that clown is, it says happy clown, but he looks more creepy clown than happy clown. Um, and there's this whole thing at our school, at our primary school, where then my kids go to at the moment, where kids are spreading these rumours that there are killer clowns on the loose in our neighbourhood. Just freaking out kids all over the place. So I won't do that one straight away. Oh, there's another clown. Look. Hang on. Sorry, man. My battery was dying. I'm done with lunch anyway. Look, there's another clown. <laughs> That's freaky. Clarence Clown. Oh, you've got to use a pudding basin. Some of these cakes you need special pans and things like that for them. So, you know, and I like to keep things simple. So I'm going to do the easier cakes first. And then as I get better, we'll take all the harder ones. Okay, that's the cutest monster I've ever seen. Look at this one. No. Anyway. I have some cooking to do for family dinner tonight, so I better go and organise that. I've got some laundry to do. I've got a little bit of tidying up to finish, but I think I'm going to rope the kids into helping me with that because, quite frankly, none of that mess is mine, so I'm not cleaning them all by myself. Okay, but I'll save that parenting rant for another lunchtime. <laughs> Okay, everybody, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah. Let me know with a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell and that way you get a notification every time I upload a video. I aim for daily, but I totally failed last week. So I'm still going to aim for daily Monday to Friday videos, but we'll see how they go. Anyway, yeah, so hit the like button if you liked it so I know. Subscribe if you haven't already. And what's the other thing I was asked for? Comment below. Comment below and let me know what you'd like to see next or what you'd like to talk about next when we eat together. Okay, I'm going to go. I'll see you later. Bye.